Hey, this is Eric Bond, and I fought for Thursday, where we answer questions that will help you to become more of a reconciling community. Uh, my name is David Bailey. And mine's Elena Aronson. And today's question is, if race is just a social construct, wouldn't it be better if we ignore it? Now, Elena, what do you think about it? Well, the short answer is no. But I think we need to understand first what it means to say that race is a social construct. So would you like to unpack that a little bit? When we say that race is just a social construct, it means that it doesn't have any genetic basis, but it doesn't mean that it has no meaning in society. In fact, over our country's history, we've ascribed meaning on visual and cultural cues, and those things have impacted the way that people have been treated in society. They've impacted people in very specific ways in the past, but they still have impact today. And so if we don't pay attention to that, there are certain implications. Race has affected who uh, was considered a human. It's affected who could become a citizen. It's also affected even where you could buy properties and where you could live. And these were all laws that were in place for hundreds of years. And these laws became illegal uh, only 50 years ago. So it takes a lot longer uh, to change culture than even it takes to change a law. So that question that you asked originally was, isn't it better to just ignore this? And that concept is called colorblindness, where we act as if we don't recognize the visual cues that we've had meaning to over time. And colorblindness sounds good because it says, I'm trying to treat every person equally, regardless of how they look. But in fact, we're just not capable of that. We have different biases that lie at different levels in our consciousness, and it affects the way that we interact with people. Plus, when we don't acknowledge people's differences, we miss out on some of the beautiful diversity of the people around us. That difference matters. It matters both as it relates to injustice, but also the beauty that we can get from the people around us. Thanks so much for watching the Thoughtful Thursday video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, please share this video with some friends or family or coworkers that might be interested. And also, hit that subscribe button so that you can get your Thoughtful Thursday question for next week.